Wanted to follow up on uh, my Gary Johnson Insane Clown Posse video. Uh, a friend of mine on Twitter, David Cox, sent me an instant message about my video yesterday and uh, gave me some good information that I wasn't aware of that uh, Gary Johnson at the Democratic National Convention, uh, which he appeared and did some press at, uh, gave a an interview to a reporter who asked a question about uh, the FBI and Insane Clown Posse, ICP. Just as I suspected, Gary Johnson uh, does not support the FBI going after Insane Clown Posse. Now, let me just, uh, for all the juggalos out there that aren't aware, Gary Johnson is a former governor of New Mexico. Uh, he came out for medical marijuana and legalization uh, while in office, while he was governor of New Mexico. Since that time, he took a break from politics. He's an adventurer, he's a skier, he's a mountain climber. He had a uh, serious uh, injury, in sports-related, where he broke uh, you know, pretty much a bunch of bones in his body. And uh, he almost died from this, and he ended up using medical cannabis. So you can see that uh, Gary Johnson, even though he was a Republican, is a very open-minded person, former governor of Ma uh, governor of New Mexico. He's very much respected. Um, and he's now running for president as a libertarian because the Republican Party would not allow him to be in the debates. He was only in one debate this last uh, this last year. And uh, he's got a good message and his message is all about liberty. And he did speak about the insane clown posse and the FBI. And I just want to read his quote. I want to thank David Cox for sending this along to me. Uh, I'm also going to put the uh, graphic that David has on his web blog, his web page, uh, davidcox.ws to find uh, David's website. But uh, I'm going to use this in this video. I hope he, it's okay with him. Uh, the quote from Gary Johnson about insane clown, insane clown posse. That's a lot to say. ICP versus the FBI. Uh, this is you know what does presidential candidate Gary Johnson think about the FBI? adding fans of the Insane Clown Posse to its National Gain Threat Assessment Report. Gary Johnson said, It sounds to me like the FBI has too, much, too many resources and too much time on its hands. There you go, folks. Do you, you think that uh, Obama or Romney would ever say that and support the Juggalos? I don't think so. You need to, you need to get active, politically active. If you don't like what is happening here, you need to help out the Insane Clown Posse. You need to help out Violent J and his lawsuit. You need to vote. Vote, vote, vote. Get involved. Start looking at these libertarian candidates, these third-party candidates, the Green Party. They would not treat juggalos this way. Um, Gary Johnson just told you. He doesn't support it. Vote for Gary Johnson. Gary Johnson, 2012. He's going to be on the ballot all 50 states. You gotta support Gary Johnson if you're a juggalo. If you if you're sick and tired of the FBI and the police targeting you and profiling you because you like ICP and you're a juggalo, well, there is something you can do. Obviously, you can support uh, Violent J and ICP and their lawsuit, but you can even go further than that. You can get politically active and support Gary Johnson, who definitely supports you. So vote Gary Johnson if you're not registered. It's too late for this presidential election, unfortunately. You missed the boat. But you know what? There, there are elections all the time. They're upcoming. You need to get registered. Easiest way to get registered in most states and most towns, you just walk into your city or town office, the city hall, and you find out uh, where the town clerk is. Every city and town has a town clerk. And you ask to get registered. You want to get registered. Usually it's uh, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 type hours. Some some town halls, the clerk's offices are closed either on Monday or Friday. So you need you should probably look it up on your uh, town web, town city or town website. It's always online. Look it up. And uh, find out when the clerk office is open and go in and register if you're not registered. So you're registered in the future. I'm also starting to see that some uh, juggalos are actually running for office. So I really do support that. If you're a juggalo that's running for office... Hit me up. I want you on my radio show, Two Hotheads Where Activism Happens. Contact me. You know how to do it. Subscribe to my YouTube, Mike Can. Um, but, you know, having said that, if you are registered to vote, you know how to vote. Gary Johnson, he's not going to allow this to happen. He's not going to allow the FBI to waste their time on juggalos. It's just not, 
This, this is insane. More insane than ICP. I've already said that. Enough said. Um, so you know what to do. Vote Gary Johnson. Also, uh, wanted to just, you know, I've, I've just personally on the, on the Mike Can tip, not uh, related to the Juggalos, uh, did some press this morning, did a little interview about question three, talked about uh, the folks who have attacked me, the vote, vote no on question three folks. It was a great uh, little interview, uh, Emerson University. Uh, so hopefully we'll see that come out in the press very soon. Also uh, got another email from, actually let me, let me look this up because I want to make sure I get this right. But I got another um, a request to be on a panel. It looks like it's going to be Friday, November 2nd, which is a couple days before the presidential election. It's tentative. They could change the date on this. But I've been invited to speak at a panel. This is kind of, this is going to be a very interesting panel for me because, um, you know, I, I'm an expert, obviously, on medical cannabis and the movement and all of these things, the politics of it. But uh, I've never quite spoken to a group of people like this. I'm going to be speaking to the Tufts University School of Medicine, the Healthcare, the Healthcare Reform Club. And basically what this is, this is a group of uh, students, doctors, PhD, PhD candidates. These are the folks who are going to be the uh, future doctors of America, one of the best uh, medical schools in the country, tough. So I'm going to be speaking uh, in front of upwards of 100 medical students about the medical cannabis uh, initiative in Massachusetts for 2012 that's on the ballot November 6th. As I said... Start voting. You, you see, you see what I'm. I'm always talking about. Get politically active. Start voting. Look at me. I, I'm just an average Joe that has a passion for something, and now I'm speaking to a bunch of, bunch of future doctors about medical cannabis. I mean, that 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 to me is a great opportunity for me to speak. Hopefully, I'll see uh, some of you there. And and if you can't attend, I'm not sure if this is open to the public or just to this uh, specific club. I don't have enough details yet. But uh, I'm very excited to be speaking at Tufts University. And, uh, you know, if, if not, we'll record it and you can watch it on video and, and check it out on my YouTube. But uh, it, it's great to see how far we're coming and how respected uh, our voice is now where I'm getting to speak in front of 100 future doctors. That, that's pretty pretty freaking cool, i got to admit. Uh, you know where I'm at. Subscribe if you're not. Mike can. If you have any political issues, any activism issues, any rights, civil rights, human rights, Hit me up, because I'm the guy. I'm the guy in Boston. I'm the guy nationwide. I love to cover this stuff. I love to speak for people um, when they're getting screwed over by the government, the police, the system. Because we, we, we need to speak up. We need to have a voice. We need to be loud and clear and honest about where we're coming from. And let let the people in power know what we want. That's, that's what I've done. And I'm going to tell you, it does work. Um, I, I think the system too often teaches people to be apathetic. It teaches people to disengage, to not vote, to not be involved. Why do they do that? Because we have greater power than you could ever imagine. I know this because we decriminalized marijuana in Massachusetts. We're about to put medical. I have had effect on local laws, on city laws, town laws. I can't explain. I don't have money. I'm not rich. I'm not backed by a major, major organization or major money. But you know what? I got 2,200 subscribers on YouTube now. People listen to me, they check me out, they know I'm a straight shooter. That's what we need more of in this world. If you're a juggalo, and I know there's a lot of you juggalos on, on YouTube, I've been checking you out, keep doing what you're doing. Post those videos, start talking about this, spread the information around, get involved, get active. A lot of you are already doing that, I give you big ups for that. That's what we need more of. We need the working class, the heart of this country, to get more involved and to speak out. We have the tools. We have the technology, we have YouTube, we have video, we have networking. You folks that are uh, jugglers out there, you, you have a, a huge network that you can tap into already. That makes you a political force. And, and I'm going to tell you something. That's why the FBI is actually going after the jugglers. Because they, they fear you. They fear that you folks will get intelligent about the system and, and start rebelling. Not violently, peacefully, intelligently, through your network. Just like, just like you do as you go to you know, the gathering. The gathering, from my understanding, from all my friends who have uh, been there, and some of them have performed like illegal, it's a, it's a great little event. Uh, not a little, huge event. And um, you guys act like family. You guys appreciate each other. You guys know each other. 
That's what the government is afraid of. They are afraid of family. They're afraid of people getting organized and people getting along and supporting each other. They want to see us all divided. They want to see one group of people over here, another group of people over here, and, and both groups of people fighting. Meanwhile, they're controlling both sides and, and they, they get all the uh, benefits from the fighting. You know, that's, that's not what we need to do anymore. We, we need to stand up. We need to get united. And that's what I love about the Juggalos and the, and the family that they have. They're united. They're, they're you know, politically they aren't active, but I, I think there's a lot of potential here. So I, I gotta, I gotta give out uh, big props to Insane Clown Posse and the Juggalos for being s so united that the federal government had to come after you. They're afraid of you. The FBI is afraid of you. Um, you have to realize the history of the FBI. How often the FBI has been used to break up political movements, to break up families, to break up, you know, unity. Uh, look at what they did to the Black Panthers in, in, the, in the 60s. Look at what they've been involved in over the years. This group, uh, the FBI, is often used uh, as a political attack group. They, they, they go after groups that they don't agree with. And uh, i got, I got to think that this is one of the main reasons why the Juggalos have been targeted. So uh, keep checking me out, keep supporting, and know that Gary Johnson would not allow this to happen to you. Vote Gary Johnson 2012.